Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to fix the association problem with um, the alpha card and H that long name I can remember, anyways. It's basically you have to do the rebar attack in the virtual box uh, in the virtual and uh, BM whatever in the virtual machine, yeah that's the name. In your virtual machine. So that's the fix. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So this is my desktop. This is my desktop. I'm gonna enter to monitor mode now. Um, so as you can see, W line one is my alpha card. So uh, let's see, monitor mode now. So I'm gonna do wash minus do a quick scan for for you know um, WPS um, router so we found one so we can use that so we do Reva minus I the interface um, minus B for the BSSID you just copy that and paste it then we do we want to do it to see all the logs okay um, as I was probably previously doing that so we have to click yes so that's the error that you guys get so I'm gonna show you now how easy it is to fit See, sometimes it does, but fail, yeah. it fails. See, that's the error. So, so I'm going to show you how easy that is to fix. So, this is my desktop. I'm going to switch now to my Belgium machine. I'm going to disconnect my alpha card and connect it to my um, and netbook that I'm currently recording all the starts from. Okay, so this is my Belgian machine running here. So when that message, you get a message. You don't get that message. Just you know, just run the virtual machine as you normally would. Okay, so now I'm gonna clear this stuff so it's easier. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, you know, strike to it as I know the WLAN 0 is my interface. Oh, sorry. Um, one dash. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, and you guys can see that in the belch machine it actually associates very well so that's why some people you know are successive with the alpha car nh and some people aren't because some people are doing it straight from the live cd on on the netbook or desktop and some people are using it for a built machine if you use a virtual machine you're successful now this is not an error. This is um. This is uh, what the router does to this to defend itself. Basically, it locks itself for like five to ten minutes, uh, and then you can then keep trying. Okay, so I hope you error gets it and thanks for watching my video. And oh yeah.